duties and their responsibilities. But I began by reading Article uh, 40, 24, Clause 2, where it says, Every worker shall be assured of rest, leisure, and reasonable limitation of working hours and periods of holidays with pay as well as remuneration for public holidays. What does this mean? It's in the Constitution. What does it mean? It, it's, it is in the Constitution and is also reflected in um, Section 10 in there, where you have the rights of the worker. So, I section mean, 10 of... Section 10 AB of the Labor Act. Okay. Yes, Act 2003, mm -hmm. six, Act 651-2003 in there. I mean, the first thing is even to ensure that you get employed in the first place. So once you're employed, it like you mentioned, and the employer-employee relationship should be taken serious. So once you get engaged um, as, a, as an employee or a worker, like you rightly said, like any other relationship or a love relationship, um, you have expectations for going in there. I mean, the expectations must be put on board right from the beginning. This is what I expect you to do, and this is what I will do on my part. And one of the conditions in there is to ensure that once you're working, um, you, an employer has engaged an, a worker to come in and do certain described, or what do you call your job description. Once you're doing that, the law says that you can't be working indefinitely. You can't be working um, without any end. So there must definitely be some rest periods. When you go under the labor act, it says that you must, for instance, work between a 40 hour week. So within the week, you should not do anything exceeding 40 hours. Anything exceeding 40 hours should be considered overtime. So that is what the law expects. Of course. Overtime and paid for. And paid for. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, that is what the law says. And then, of course, um, it's a 24 hour period, but you can't be on your feet 24 hours during the day. So there must be intermittent rest periods whilst you're working. Of course, it's how many days in a, a month? We have 20 working days in a month, but you can't be working in there. There must be times where you must take some rest. And of course, when you're resting, you should be paid for those rest periods, including right. public holidays. Mm. So. That is what it says in right. the law. And um, Steve, mm -hmm. the provision begins by clause one. Mm -hmm.